Okay, so you've seen the hobby of metal detecting. And if you're new to it, it can be a bit of a minefield of detectors and which one should I get? And you go you go online, don't you? You go on YouTube and that, and you have a look and see uh, how they work and where you want to enter the metal detector chart of what they call beginner detectors, which are simple. Uh, simple to turn on and go and right up to the top end, which are like elite machines with loads and loads of settings. I think of it this way. A lot say you want to begin a detecting. Now, that all depends on the person. Some people just, for example, you know, when, like whiz kids, they were just good on technology. My son's great on anything. If I give it him, he does it straight away. I still have got that where if I'm shown something, I can do it straight away. Or if I pick a machine up within an hour, I can get around it. Some people aren't like that. So you need to put yourself in that kind of category instead of the detectors because then you'll know which category you can go into. So if you're quite technically minded and you can pick stuff up really quick, then what's the point in getting a beginner detector? There's no point because you'll just get around it really quick and you want something better to initiate your, your learning and your capabilities of you yourself. So for example, I've, I've been an electrician for 20 years and I've got to be able to find faults in some and rectify it. I build PCs, I tinker with a car, I strip the car down and built it back up. And that's just off learning off YouTube, picking up quite easily. So that's the first thing you've got to think of when you're picking a detector, is how good are you with technology and learning and picking stuff up. So then the second thing is how much you want willing to pay for the detector. How much do you want to pay for the detector? Now, when you're picking a detector in the hobby of metal detecting, you've got to have enjoyment when you're out. So if you're finding with the detector an item in the ground and then you're taking so long retrieving the item because it's small, you want to involve in your prize for your detector, obviously a spade and a pinpointer. There's fines bags and other stuff, but a spade and a pinpointer. Uh, the pinpointer, I think, is a priority when you for enjoyment value and to retrieve the find from the ground and get it in the satchel, your bag, and then move on to the next one. At first, I'd never used one. Then I used one. Then I lost it and I couldn't detect without it. Without, I could, but I just didn't enjoy it as much because you're messing around looking for items in the ground. So with them to in mind, lets you know where you're going to go in with the sector range. So at the top end, you've got the Deus 2, and well, at the top, you've got the Manticore, which is £1,800. Are you willing to pay that? Will you be able to use that easily? If you're really technically minded and you've got a lot of money to splash out, yeah, 1800 Then you can go down to 14 or 12 for the Deus 2. Then around about 900, you've got the Equinox multi-frequency detectors. Uh, you've got the Atrex, uh, Rutus Atrex, about six, seven hundred pound. You've got the Legend at about five, six hundred pound. You've got the score, the double score at the bottom end, which are about four fifty, four hundred pound. And you've got the Vanquish 340 is 220, which is just turn on and go. So the, the score and the double score, they're about £350, £400. And the, the score is just turn on and go. Now, you don't want to be getting any of these cheaper detectors. You want to go for the name brands. Mine Lab, XP, which XP don't cover beginner detectors. XP just covers advanced detectors. So there's no cheaper options there. And then you've got Noxa, which have got the Legend, which is about £700. Going right down to the score, multi frequencies, the simplex light, the simplex BT, and the simplex ultra. You'll probably see some YouTubers and they just just say not to, and they'll go right, they'll have the not to range, but just multi frequency from any detector with the option of single. Uh, so, not to legend, mine lab, you can go right from the 600, 7, 8, 9, and the vanquishes. Mine Lab have got the broadest range of detectors 
so I'd go for mine lab, two hundred and twenty pound, right up to eighteen hundred. So without doubt, they have got the broadest range of detectors on offer. Now, all these detectors, if you want to go to the shops, you've got LP, you've got Regitons, you've got multiple shops. But my my sponsor is Spinner Disc, and Spinner Disc are great. Most most of the shops are great anyway. When I have a look at the range of detectors on offer, go to Spinner Disc and they will sort you out and they don't have any Chinese Walmart detectors. They only have good, well-known manufacturers in their lineup at a proper shop. If you go to a, a decent detecting shop, even online, but it's a, it's a proper metal detecting shop, you will get a decent detector. Uh, that's all the stock, you see. So that's it really, it's how much you're willing to spend and how good you are with technology and learning stuff. Uh, because you could be a bit of a whiz kid and you go into a farm and you say, I'm a beginner, what detector? And then people are throwing beginner detectors at you and you, do, you get it and you go, what the hell? You know, it depends how much you want to learn about it. It's like, just say, just say, when you start driving, right, you don't get a big, big in a car, do you? It's just a car, and you'll learn how to drive that car. Uh, just an aeroplane, just say an aeroplane. You don't get a beginner aeroplane, do you? You just learn it. And it's the same with detectors. You just learn how to use that machine. When you get a new job, you, you do start you off showing you little bits, and little bits, and you pick it up, you pick it up, you pick it up, and then you become good at it. So don't look at it as... I'm a beginner in the hobby, I want a big machine. Just get what you want and you can actually use these elite machines at twelve hundred, eighteen hundred pound as beginner machines. It just has more than the beginner part and you can grow with it. A beginner machine you buy it, you grow, you hit the limit and you want some more and then you get some and then you hit some more and you you're stepping up and obviously the big one is the money. How much you want to spend. So I hope that helped you out. Big tip for the first fifty hours dig most items decent signal items and be prepared to dig a lot of rubbish because that is the truth of metal detecting you've got a one maybe two out of ten holes will be something good go and get that treasure and all the best in the hobby